the American College of Prosthodontists Education Foundation, in great collaboration with Henry Schein, is about to embark on what may be one of the most important steps in the development of clinical dentistry that we've seen in decades. So the ACPEF, the American College of Prosthodontists Education Foundation, has partnered with Henry Schein through an unrestricted gift, uh, which has created an incredible partnership. And it's allowing us to really accelerate the adoption of digital dentistry in the United States. It has been a very busy time. Our, our first order of business was to assemble a team, uh, first the task force, and then our curriculum development team. We've um, engaged over 40 different members from over 30 different institutions in the United States that includes prosthodontists, general dentists, and several people from private practice to provide us with the knowledge, the information, and the, importantly, the questions that will guide our curriculum development. I was the leader for one of the groups and within our group we ended up coming up with competencies and learning objectives as well as assessment strategies for different schools to kind of help them along in terms of adaptation of digital dentistry within their curricula. We've met in San Diego where we delivered to them three remarkable documents. The first is a white paper that describes what the impact of digital dentistry is on prosthodontics, the specialty. The second is a compilation of abstracts that takes the pulse of the current digital dentistry technology. It's not comprehensive, but it serves to inform anyone who picks up that document where we are in the state of the art. The third thing that we've delivered uh, is our first uh, uh, flushed outline. 50 pages of documentation that shows us just how complex, comprehensive, and meaningful this curriculum work will be. It's really a work of art, uh, and so we're very proud of this. The intent is for it to be a living document and continue on an annual basis to be updated. So it's, from that standpoint, it needs to be digital, and so it's a digital resource for folks. That's the beauty about it, is it's a fluid document. So we've been able to add to it as new things come about. We've been able to get other people on board from all across the nation that know about these different things that are emerging and basically take their knowledge and distribute it to everyone else. They've come together and they've started to develop a plan that is more like an a la carte menu where different schools can pick and choose what they can incorporate. We've learned that this is a rapidly changing landscape and that we have to develop a curriculum that will allow us to be nimble to adapt to these um, constant changes and so that's really our goal going forward. We've built remarkable trust amongst all players and I think everyone in the industry is beginning to understand that this is in 2016 one of the most important things going on in organized dentistry. Ultimately it's our patients who benefit by having better dentistry. That's the bottom line in all of this. I think it's fitting that we are proud to support this ACP initiative. Uh, the ultimate goal is for us to improve the adoption of digital dentistry across the globe. And when I say that, that's happening in the months and years ahead based on the work that's been done over the past six to 12 months, and for this we are very grateful. Uh, I'd like to thank, on behalf of the college, Henry Schein and their partners for trusting us and giving us the support for this project. And also importantly, our volunteers who've spent time away from their day jobs to move this project forward in a, in a really unbelievable manner. 